Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Road to Rank 1. Today we start our day off against Hero Marine, who uh, is playing on an account called Cape Talks. Um, let's see exactly what we can do against him here. See, uh, he's a tricky little bugger. Tricky little bugger. Quite good at this game indeed, quite good at this game indeed. I don't tend to win too much against him, but... We can definitely try our best. He likes to play... Uh... He, he doesn't all in a lot. He doesn't all in. He doesn't like the proxy a lot. He likes to play pretty standard Raven tank pushes. Um... I think he doesn't mind playing 3cc. He doesn't mind playing 3rex uh, either though. Like He's relatively at home with both. I think I'm just gonna play a very standard blink opener here, actually. Kind of feeling like that. Depending a tiny tad on what I do scout. I'm also... F I actually wouldn't mind playing 4-gate blink here. 4-gate blink is very fun to play. Mm. And also very powerful at the moment. See people, uh... Start to... <laughs> Oops. Accidentally build it. It's okay. Uh, the first game of the evening. This kind of throws away the uh, the lead that I had from not scouting, or the money that I had from not scouting. It's basically down the drain now. So um, <laughs> now I have no information and no money. It's the worst of both worlds. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's okay, guys. Okay, we just saw him scout with an SCV. Kind of curious what he is doing. It's possible he is trying to proxy a. Uh, or proxy, just trying to build a bunker. Always a possibility, of course. Not going to be the case here. Probably just went straight back home. Um, we're gonna end up going straight into into Twilight. So no matter what happens, we will play Twilight. Okay, that's the one thing that I can guarantee. I straight up just go across the map as well and in my opinion that's a good call but maybe I'm wrong it is of course very possible that I'm wrong no don't I just don't think he's gonna get a, a reaper out okay that finishes up that's kind of interesting All right then. Um, so this is what we want to do exactly here now. I'm I'm not quite sure. First of all, I want to build a battery that I am sure about. I'll probably try to chrono boost this a couple of times. Second question I kind of have for myself is: Hey, do I want to get a third base right now? And if so, do I want to get it after? Uh, my warp in? I think the answer there will be yes. You have crap ton of units. I'm surprised. So, uh, th what went wrong here is pretty clear to me. Um, I simply 
it should have had some energy available for a super battery, I think. I think that's actually one of the things that went wrong. You should have one tank ready already at this point, no? Our gates. What does my man have over here? I mean, it looks an awful lot like. Uh, wait, that's at least one banshee. What in the world is happening here? This is extremely all in, though. We lost. I'm actually surprised how easy this was for him. He was relatively all in with this though. Probably should have recognized that a bit faster. I was like, wait a second, there's no tech labs on these buildings. Should have immediately started building workers and probably some batteries. I didn't do that, which was bad by me. <sighs> 47, 55, I mean, we have good... Yeah, we built too many gateways. That's the problem. We should have had more units, probably one more in War Talk. I don't want to go back to that early game though. So that was interesting. So I knew he was going to do something here. I just didn't know what. So ideally I have one extra chrono boost available at this point. But I really didn't. So that sucked. The yeah, early game here was fine, right? This all seemed okay at least. I'm not quite sure how I'm exactly supposed to play this uh, better. When it comes to losing workers. Yeah, I lost 14 workers. Which is a crap one. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not... Entirely sure maybe I'm supposed to have a battery in the main as well against this. It is possible that that is the play, the optimal play. Hmm. Maybe we should put it slightly more forward and then full wall this with like a cyber core. I can have all my units kind of over here. Maybe I shouldn't even have a unit in that wall. Perhaps that is the best play. Just kind of position everything over here. And when he tries to drop, I can just... I just full wall here with like a cyber core. And I have a force field as well. That'd be better. And at this point, I'm down seven workers. So I'm just uh, pretty dead, I think, at this point. It's hard to say sometimes uh, why you are so dead. Forty-two, thirty-nine. It's still playable. I actually think I should have realized what was going on. Like once I saw this, should have been able to arrive. But yeah, I, mean, I just have too little units. Maybe tough, 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 tough start. But I mean, Hero Marine is pretty good. I don't tend to win too much against him. Let's see if we can uh, hopefully get him again. I always enjoy playing against him as well. He's a good player. It's nice to uh, play against good Terrans. It's rare that uh, the top Terrans ladder on EU. So. When they do, you kind of need to try rest. He has very uh, long supply block, you see that? One a whole minute here. It's crazy. We got max packs instead. Also a fun little opponent. Yeah, he told me before that he already wanted to snipe me. 
or that well, not snipe me that he wanted to play some ranked games almost every single day we play like three four games on the ladder against each other so he was already mentally preparing for that actually we should ask him uh Oh, no, I want to ask him about what he thinks of the the game I just played against Hero Marine, actually. I'm, uh... I, I respect Max Pack's opinion on these things. He seems to have more creative solutions to problems that I run into. Way more creative solutions. Which I don't really seem to have. Not sure why I'm lacking those. Uh, I'm very bad at simple thinking very often. He told me he was gonna stop playing one gate. He lied to me. Um, I think I have a decent way to, to punish this though. Like actually. That's, that's the truth. He did tell me that he stopped one getting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not great against the one gate, I have to admit. But I, I have something which I lost to the other day. I was very curious how he would, uh, how, how he would hold, honestly. Like, actually very curious. So we'll see uh, <clears throat> what he decides to do. To, to proxy something straight straight stargate okay did I get his uh, his worker I didn't he's also not hiding here right no we're good I don't think he saw that. I don't think he has the greatest setup here, honestly. Just in case he manages to sneak by somewhere somehow. He does tend to be pretty decent at that. Sneaking by him. Can we have 11 stalkers? P9 
GG, GG, GG. Ah, he was getting Dark Shrine, but I th he probably should have waited at least until he got some warp in him with the Dark Shrine. But yeah, I, that was a little bit too greedy there, my friend. Forge, Dark Shrine, no scouting whatsoever, all from a Stargate opener. That's just not possible. So we're going to get 21 points for that. And uh, yeah, let's just hop straight into our next game. Nice. All right, we got Max Packs again after going over the replay with him. Um, <laughs> we, we had a long a long discussion, like 10, 15 minutes maybe about what we think is best. Disagreed on a couple of things, uh, agreed on a, a, on a on a host of others. Actually, it was, I kind of enjoyed it. It's always fun. I, I think he's so brilliant. First of all, he told me my micro is god awful. I uh, said to split my workers better and to put a stalker in the wall rather than an adept, which makes sense, of course. Uh, Hellions do extra damage to light. And then he said, I believe it's kind of about the positioning. Uh, positioning of your units. So, <clears throat> yeah, just... Uh, Similar to what I thought already, even though I hadn't thought of the Stalker in the wall rather than the Adept. Um, I, I thought of full walling, but I, I do like having a unit there. Does some regular DPS. Then I watched the replay of Zest on Oxide against Hero Marine, where I did a 7 Marine 3 Hellion build. And there it looked like as if Zest, uh, even though he played a fast DT drop, which is way more money intensive than the opener I did, which means he has less units. Um... He still managed to uh, rather handily stop what Hero Marine did. So, uh, with a second battery in his main base, which honestly impressed me. I feel like this guy is. God. At this point, we can piss off from the main base. We have one of them bad boys coming up. There's a second gas, second pilot, second. That second pilot is too late. In it. Tech pan is way too late. It's gonna be supply block. Oh, he's super supply block. I know he's gonna try to walk up here. He always does. You're freaking zealot. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. I mean, it's a better start for me, no? Definitely. Okay, we're gonna get a another one of them phoenixes. I think it's kind of risky what I'm doing, obviously. And we're just using some of these guys for spotters in the middle of the map. I know he also loves to play the same same exact opener as I am currently. 
We're actually just gonna go into a fast robo with this. Okay, he actually thinks that I'm uh I'm probably still playing the same thing as he is. Unless he also is uh, trigger, tri triggering. I was going to say triggering me. I should have just gone straight into thingy. Oh, he's gonna. He's, he just has this available, huh? Uh, I should have just gone into blink rather than DT. DT is so risky. I also went this. I played so safe while playing DT, which makes no sense. Yeah, dang flabbit. I'm so dumb sometimes. Okay, this game is just over, honestly. can do it actually. Is it possible? What do you think we should go for first, Mary? Maybe first we try to get uh, these guys down? I have a lot of gas for uh, for being in the position that I am. There's no way that he's that that's actually going to be his third base, right? He, he's definitely playing uh, DTs as well, by the way. I can just feel it. Maybe we can do it? I don't know. I don't know if we can actually. Seems rough, but maybe? What's this guy doing? Like the moment we lose map control and we lose all of our pilots, we completely die. Like the game just kind of ends, I think. What is this thing doing? Okay, he has no upgrades yet, which is probably good for me, right? I mean, that's definitely good for me. I'm not sure why I'm pretending like I don't know if that's good or not for me. It's like, yeah, that's that's freaking good for me, obviously. Um... Base 
is under attack. Research complete. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. What's he doing? Hello? Sir? Am I winning? I think we lost. Yeah, we kind of got owned. If we had plus two, we still got owned, I think. We just got owned. We shouldn't have played DTs there, that was a mistake. That actually was a mistake. Yeah. I think if we played Blink there, we had a good start. Our Nexus was slightly faster. You see, we had. Oh, he actually had more workers, but we should have had better resource collection. No. Uh, here we do. He got slightly more workers, that's interesting, because he did build a pylon on my side. Perhaps I should build slightly more workers myself as well. That is a mistake, because he's just outmining me by like two, three hundred here. Here he is higher. I'm never actually higher in income. I thought I was up in income by quite a bit, honestly, but it doesn't seem to be the case. And he takes me out. It is the way it is, guys. It is the way it is sometimes. All right, let's head into uh, to one more game, the final one. Oh. I'll tell him to finish the best of three. Finish the best of three. Go, go. He always, he's always a nice guy. Always but maybe it's bedtime for him. I'm not quite sure when he sleeps. No, no, not yet. He always has a very weird sleep schedule in general. He just kind of does what he wants. He's All right, we got max packs for the best of three here, which is nice to see. Let's see if we actually can do, uh, can do what we want. We should have turned on the StarCraft 2 music a bit earlier. I do like listening to that. Curious what he's gonna do this time around. I'm actually kind of curious what he's gonna be doing this time. I'm gonna be playing one gate though. <laughs> That's the only thing I do care about. I wonder if he does the same thing. We just play another one gate versus one gate. I feel like I improved a lot in the one gate versus one gate matchup, mainly thanks to Max Packs continuously playing against me um, in the one gate versus one gate scenario. It's been a blast. I've been having a very good time learning stuff from him. He, I don't know. It's just nice to have such a, a bright kid in the Protoss community. Really, really enjoy uh, talking with him and just playing games. Seems like a good time in general. Seems like a good kid as well, you know. Oh, okay, he's playing. Uh... What are you doing here, Mr. Max? I think I'm winning this fight, huh? This, this is a good start for me. Okay, now, now we get to see exactly what he decides to proxy and what he believes is best. I'm gonna build a pylon here on the top of the ramp. I mean, there's no way this works. But let me rephrase. There should be no way that this works. Okay? If you have full information like I am currently having. Wait, what was it? Robo? Just gateway. I mean, in this case, in my opinion, we can just throw down a robo and. We can hide this, at least for a little bit. I'm never sure if the best thing to do is still to get a forge or to just say you can suck it buddy and not get a forge. This build can be pretty tricky though to play against, that I do have to admit, no matter what you say. Yeah. 
Okay, I suck at this game. Like, actually just suck. Why did I send it back? <sighs> 27, that's it. That's the counter working with. I wonder if we can actually uh, get it done here. I feel like he's gonna come from the side or something like that, no? Maybe not. What the world? I like this build. I do like this build. Is he still gonna keep pushing or what's the play here then? Probably just gonna keep pushing, huh? Jesus. I wonder if I'm winning or... I, I doubt it, but... Probably has a Nexus here now. Just finished it up. Well, just. Never mind. Just infinite money. Ah! He got me good. This is a nice build, honestly. I hadn't seen this one before. Yeah. I mean, he plays this so much, he knows what's good against it, right? He got me good, though. He really did get me good. If I have a battery in the main, it's, it's really bad for him, but I didn't have a battery in the main, so it's kind of fine for him. Uh, I think at this point, I'm not necessarily... Well, I actually think I'm just behind. He played this so well. I guess if I open Void Ray, it's different, but opening Void Ray against straight proxy 3 gate is also possible, actually. Probably just should have done that, but I like the way he played this. This seems like a good build. All right, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode of Road to Rank 1. We lost a bunch of points, but we learned a lot, and that's also valuable. So, I'll see you all next week for a new episode, and of course, tomorrow for a new Hearthstone Hour. Bye bye.